Yo, Ma. Security brought this over. It's from Dad. Your father? Well, open it. I hope it's good news, Kenny. What's that? He sent us some money? Mm -hmm. Dearest Alma, I am well. Don't worry about me. Things are going well. But I don't know when I'll be back. I may never return. Don't try to call me. I'll send money again as soon as I can. Yo, Mom, there's five grand in here. What did it say, Ma? Auntie Alma, why are you crying? Oh, 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 I'm not crying. Alma, I'm well. Don't worry about me. Things are going well, but I don't know when I'll be back. I may never return. Don't try to call me. I'll send money as soon as I can. <laughs> Is my sister in there? How did this happen to you? <sighs> well, yesterday in the courtyard, a man started a fight for no reason. And he stabbed me when I argued back with him. The man claims that you started the fight in the courtyard. He even has a few witnesses to back him up. They say that you attacked the man for no reason. How can that be true? He's lying to you. I'm in no state to brawl with anyone. I can't stay there much longer, Mason. Please help me. I'm begging you. They're going to kill me. I was lucky this time. But what if he does it again? I can't go back there again. The judge has already ruled on your imprisonment in this case. We need to wait for the trial to begin. But I promise you this right now, I'll do everything I can to get you acquitted. How long will the trial take? How much longer will I be locked up? I don't know right now, but you have to grit your teeth for another few months. <sighs> a few more months? It may take a little longer. In fact, it will be longer. <sighs> don't say that. A week felt like a year already to me. I don't belong in that place. I share a cell with actual murderers. They're going to kill me. They won't let me live. I'd rather die than go back to that place. Good work. A good job as usual. How'd they manage it? Sir, you know that I have a lot of connections with gangsters. The cousin of a friend just happened to be in the same prison as that unfortunate guy. We just asked him, and he did us a favor. How much was it? It comes out to 2500 and 500 for my friend. And give me whatever you see fit for the help. You get it from the bank this time, all right? No cash. Thank you. 
And may God bless you. Yes. Hello, sir. I need to see Daphne Sarman's autopsy report as soon as possible. In what capacity? As Manny Array's lawyer for his defense. Does Mr. Michael know about this? I don't care about Mr. Michael, to be honest. Hang on. You were Ethan DeLorman's lawyer, too, weren't you? Why are you suddenly taking on the defense of all these criminals, Mason? Listen to me, sir. Manny Array is not guilty. Someone set the man up. They won't even leave him alone inside the jail. Oh, yes, I heard. He got into some sort of fight. If you ask me, you should tell your client to simmer down. His sentence will only lengthen. Manny did not start the fight. And he's not guilty of killing Daphne Sarman, and you know that he is. The judge will have to decide that when the time comes. The evidence is clear. Are you going to show me this report or not? There is a way of doing these things, as you well know. You write to the prosecutor's office first, then they'll get it in a week or two. If they tell us to show it to you, then we'll do that, and that's all there is to it. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. You're playing hardball with the man's life. Not in life. the least, but it's just the way that things are done. I see. No problem, sir. Thank you. are going well, but I don't know when I'll be back. I may never return. Don't try to call me. I'll send money as soon as I can. Put that down. Stop reading it already. Oh, William, my husband. You did this to us shamelessly. May God do with you what he will. May God punish you for your sin. Well, what I don't get is why he didn't call and why he chose to send a letter instead. <sighs> Kenny, what would he have said even if he had called? What was he going to say to me? Oh, Alma, I'm not coming back. Have a nice life, you and Kenny. He knew it would have happened. He was just too scared to call. That business he talks about is also a lie. The truth is that your father is up to something else. How do you mean? He probably went after some younger woman, that's all. God knows they probably have some kids together as well. Why else would he leave a happy home like this? Oh, I could never have imagined that your father would have done this to me, son. That's meant for you. They're all cut from the same piece of cloth. Except for you, of course. Don't you be like that, okay, son? Don't turn out like your father. Seems illogical to me, Mom. My father would never do something like that. Is this my father's writing, Mom? Are you sure? Kenny, who else could it be, my son? Well, I don't know. I was thinking, do you... Do you know what his handwriting looked like? How should I, Kenny? He barely wrote a thing. Didn't he write to you during his military service or something, Mom? There's gotta be something. Well, we did a couple of times back and forth. But God knows where they are now. How do you expect me to find them after all these years, Kenny? 